is your staghorn fern going bananas? Watch this video to see what we do with the banana for my staghorn fern. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell so you're notified for all videos when we upload new content every week. Make sure you comment if you liked it. Give us a thumbs up and share it out. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 everybody. This is Sherry. I'm in my container gardens in my backyard here in Cape Coral, Florida. Is your staghorn firm going bananas? What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. This beautiful staghorn fern piece was gifted to me from one of my friends who got it from one of my, our other friends and it has a history. The original plant grew down in Key West. Her mother planted it and she has staghorn ferns now and she's kept those alive in memory of her mother. Her friend has one who's next door and I was so fortunate to be gifted a piece of this beautiful staghorn fern. So what does that have to do with bananas? Well, staghorn ferns are another one of those beautiful little epiphytes. You know, I've told you all about them. They like, they really don't have a lot of roots and you see how their branches grow. And look, a new branch is growing. This is the newest one. I did have one drop off. They start out as these tiny little fronds and then they grow down to a certain point. And at one point they start splitting into the different um, fronds at the end of the branches. They're just so beautiful. So bananas. Now there are a lot of people that say that it's a myth to feed your staghorn fern bananas. But my friend is a native Floridian and she says they love them. So we're going to see if they do. First of all, I'm going to peel the banana. I should have eaten the banana, but to tell you the truth, I'm keto and they're really not on the ketogenic way of eating. They're a little high in carbs. We'll save it off and decide whether I do or not, okay? What we do is we take the banana peel. I'm just gonna leave it whole. I'm gonna lift up this beautiful fern. She's sitting in a basket. I've got some nets so the moss doesn't all fall out. It's sphagnum moss. It helps hold the moisture. She loves moisture. I'm gonna put this face down, the peels, inside of the peel side down into the basket. And I'm just gonna let it sit there. It's almost like a little mini compost pit. Set her back down carefully into the moss. That's why the moss kind of helps anchor her here a little bit, keep the basket upright. So she does this mostly to keep her from falling out. So let's talk a little bit about these beautiful staghorn ferns. They are an epiphyte. They grow in the tropical rainforest and they attach themselves to the upper branches of trees along rocks and all of that, just like their cousins, the epiphytic orchids, air plants. They are also a cousin to the epiphytic brom bromeliads. Now, staghorn ferns, there's a lot of different species and the reason they get their name is because their branches grow into the shape of an antler. And I've got some pictures of that for you too in this video. Now let's talk about some tips to take care of your staghorn fern. If you grow them outside, they're best grown in the more tropical zones like we are down here in Southwest Florida. They tend to prefer temperatures no lower than 55 degrees. They like the upper temperature range of 70, 80, 90 degrees, and they do really well. And also we of course have higher humidity and we get a lot of rain in the summer and they tolerate that as well. If you do plant, put them outside, mine are hanging in an open basket. I put the mosquito netting in the bottom just cause I had that type of net and it helps hold the sphagnum moss. Or some people will put them in just a pure mixture of peat moss. Um, it, you really aren't trying to bury the fern in the soil, in soil or any of that. They don't like that type of environment. I actually, after I did the little clip that I showed earlier in this video where I planted the banana, later I put a piece of the banana peel on top of the fronds, also recommended. 
and I tied some twine over the top of the basket and fern just to help keep it from flipping out of that basket onto the ground. So they really don't want to be buried. They just want to be anchored. A lot of people bring them inside. There's different ways to mount them on boards and all of that. And you can read up on that online in my blog that will be coming out this week. So what do staghorn ferns like? They like indirect sunlight indirect light. So if you do have them inside, you want to put them like by a southern window, like I have my container gardens inside my house, the plants that are more sensitive and don't need to be outside. Now, we are going through the coldest winter we've had in nearly 40 years. Even my girlfriends, we had breakfast the other day, she can't remember it ever being this cold since she's lived in Florida and she's lived in Florida over 20 years. Her wife has, is a native Floridian and the one who really gifted me the fern through my other friend who's growing it as well. And they can both verify that we're having a really super cold winter down here in Southwest Florida. So our temperatures have dipped well below 55 degrees. In fact, in December, it was down to 36 at one point in time. And some of the Eastern um, locations and north of here were frosting. So the staghorn fern still is making it through because I've got her planted under my, well, mounted in the basket under my bottle brush tree. So she gets indirect light through the branches of the bottle brush tree, but she doesn't, is never going to get that hot glaring sun that we're going to get sometime in the future coming months coming up because guaranteed it will get hot again in Southwest Florida, y'all. Now let's talk about moisture. She likes moderate moisture, and we really should moder water, I'm gonna be watering the sphagnum moss that she sits upon. And she can get enough moisture through the air, or I'll pour the water over her fronds, or the top of her, and let it drain off. You wanna be careful, just like other epiphytic orchids, you don't water really their leaves, you water the roots, and that's what helps them thrive. So then we come to fertilizer. Well, that's why we planted the banana. Now, you know, some people say it's a myth to plant bananas to nourish your staghorn fern. But like I said, my friend's a native Floridian. That means she was born in Florida, has been here all of her life. And if she's going to feed bananas to her staghorn fern and flourish, because I've seen her staghorn fern and it's gorgeous. She has like three times the amount of staghorn fern hubs like I do in this gigantic basket. And they like it. And why do they like it? Because bananas, of course, and banana peels have potassium and other nutrients. So I even took a piece of the banana peel and put it over the top of the fronds and it'll leash down into the moss and over the fronds and break down. And it's like a slow release fertilizer. Now that might not be as practical inside. You do want to be aware though. And when your fern is doing well and mine is actually growing branches and seems to be going well, even though we call this winter, to the fern, it's probably starting to think about spring, and she might need to be water um, fertilized a little bit more often. Maybe every third time you water. So I'm going to be conscious of that going forward, and I'm probably going to look into using the orchid fertilizer for her because they're all in the same family, and I think that would be a better mix for the type of plant that she is. I really love these epiphytic plants. They're so much fun and nothing I've ever grown before. I hope you find a lot of wonderful tips about staghorn ferns. Maybe you'll get one and grow it in your house. You could grow it outside during the summer when it warms up this next year because I'm sure it'll be warming up where you live too. I hope you guys have a wonderful gardening week. We'll talk again soon. Oh, uh, the staghorn fern, another fun epiphyte. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below. I appreciate y'all. Have a great gardening week.